Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to get right into it. We're going to do a quick video on, not Ted, five things not to do to your curly hair. Number one, might seem obvious, but do not brush your hair when it's dry. You can just hear the brush ripping through your hair when it's dry. And does that sound like it's doing any good to your hair? You can hear it ripping your hair apart and when your hair is ripping apart that's causing damage and being natural the one thing you want to do is never cause any more damage because a lot of us are transitioning out of that damage phase of our lives that phase of our lives where we're straightening too much um, using too much color whatever it is you do not want to cause any more damage by brushing your hair when it is wet number two another thing that so many natural girls and boys try to do is grow our hair but in order to grow our hair, we must have a very clean scalp with open pores and hair follicles, whatever. So if you're using conditioner or styling products on your scalp, you are clogging those pores and you are not allowing your hair to grow. So the only thing you should be putting on your scalp is oil. And if you use oil, I'm not saying that you need to use oil, but the only two things you can put on your scalp are oil and shampoo. Number three may also seem very obvious, but do not towel dry. You are again just causing so much friction on your hair, which is leading to frizz, breakage, just drying your hair. So only, only, only use a microfiber towel or a t-shirt cotton t-shirt. Number four, also going to play with number three, do not use a cotton pillowcase. You spent all that time washing your hair, deep conditioning, moisturizing, you didn't use a terry cloth towel, you used a microfiber towel or a t-shirt, and then you go to bed and sleep on your cotton pillowcase. You're just causing just as much friction in your hair, you are causing frizz, breakage, you're going to wake up with dry, frizzy hair. So why do that? Just go the extra step and use a satin or silk pillowcase. If you do not have a satin or silk, or silk pillowcase, you can go on Amazon, get one for under $10. If that's just not your route, use a satin bonnet, wrap your hair up in a scarf, satin scarf, silk scarf, not a cotton scarf. Do what you need to do so you're not causing friction on your hair while you are asleep. And number four. Five, do not shampoo your whole entire head. So many times you see videos of people's shower routines and they're putting that shampoo and lathering it all up and putting it on their hair and rubbing it around with their fingernails and that is just not what you want to do. What you want to do is take your shampoo, just massage it on your scalp and if you feel like you need to get the ends of your hair, just run it down with your fingers and kind of just wash from the top to the bottom. But to be even safer, just use your shampoo, put it on your scalp, and then let the water run it down your hair, and it will clean the ends of your hair, I promise. This is what I do. I never put shampoo on the bottom of my hair. I only cleanse the top of my hair, put my hair under the cool water, and let that just clean the bottom of my hair as well. So now that you heard these five don'ts, take these into consideration when you're washing your hair, styling your hair, sleeping on your hair, and do not do these things if you want your hair to be as long, as frizz-free, and as great as possible. I hope to see you guys next week for another video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye I also really wanted to do a quick shout out for my little brother Preston because he has been asking me for the past week to be on my YouTube channel but that obviously just did not happen so shout out to my little baby brother Preston I love you so much and I can't wait to see you again